Hi, Kasia. Today we're going to Hi. be talking about presidential grant. What is it? Uh, the, so the presidential grant is an option um, for people who don't qualify through citizenship, uh, through descent, through confirmation of Polish citizenship, yeah, due to some technicalities or, you know, the family, the ancestors left long time ago and um, it's a great option um, because that also results in, in you know in citizenship however uh, the process is very different yeah yes. first of all first of all it's fully discretionary yeah? so we on through our experience we've developed or established uh, you know what what needs to be included in the application what's you know uh, worth um, highlighting but uh, there is no specific list of requirements yes yeah? so we actually established that 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 list um, yeah uh, yeah through our experience yeah but generally it's the president of Poland who has his power to grant citizenship to any foreign citizen mm -hmm. yeah however we uh, work with clients who have Polish background yeah so there is no I mean that could be great 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 grandparents but we yeah yeah they that they have some some sort of base yeah when it yeah. comes to that component yeah. so I guess what you're saying is that mm. there's not necessarily limited to generations as such yes. so if you don't qualify for citizenship through the descent, uh, then citizenship through the presidential grant could be an option. Um, we, as Kasia said, um, work with, within our own um, requirement list that we've created over the last seven, eight years. Um, because the Polish government doesn't really tell you. So when you apply for, say, American citizenship or Australian, they give you a massive checklist and lots of forms to fill in and you fill that in and you're done. For this particular service, um, essentially the Polish government wants you to tell them about you, and then they tell you if you're worthy of receiving citizenship or not. So um, there's a few myths around that. So one would be that it's only highly accomplished people or sports people that should apply. Uh, in our experience, um, that, that is not the case. We have had successes from everyday Americans or everyday Australians, but what the Polish government really is looking for are people that are really truly committed and passionate about um, being Polish. They're good citizens, um, someone that can contribute um, to Poland and also benefit from being a Polish citizen, essentially. Yeah, that's true. And we always say that uh, the key to the success is an honest, yes, humble application. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And we, we've got a um, team of people that would work with you um, if you were to proceed with this that are based in Poland. And um, we essentially offer like a coaching program to help you um, craft your application in a way that will resonate with the Polish government. There are several steps. It takes about 12 months. It's not for everybody. Look, I meet with, with uh, everyone that's potentially interested and I, not that I try and discourage them, but I certainly... Uh, tell them that it's a lot of hard work, it's a big commitment. You do have to have headspace and, um, you know, commitment to, to getting it yeah. right. Yeah, it is a big commitment and um, I guess, um, yeah, people just really need to be interested in, in, in that and passionate about mm -hmm. it because that's, as I as mentioned before, that's the key to... Mm -hmm to the success yeah and as long as much as uh, you know we assist and help with every single step there are certain components and steps that we cannot really do on our clients behalf mm -hmm. for instance like obtaining documentation in the US or learning or Polish. learning Polish mm -hmm. yeah we of course provide the language course that it's um, designed for that for this particular pathway mm -hmm. and that interview that, that our clients have at, yes. the, yeah, at the consulate, yeah? So we provide one-on-one -on -one lessons and unlimited group lessons and all that, but it's not us taking yeah. those lessons. So, so we are definitely, uh, yeah, we tell our clients always that it is a commitment, yeah. Um, so we support them uh, through uh, translations, providing information, research, we even do mock interviews with a former ambassador. There's a whole range of things that we do. 
Uh, but the, at the end of the day, it's the client that gets assessed. It's the client that goes for the interview. We are pretty transparent uh, with clients and um, that perfect score of 100% success rates, what, what success rate once upon a time we were proud of, um, is no longer um, simply the case. So we have had a few rejections. The trouble with all of that is that the Polish government does not tell you what the issue may have been um, and there's no way to appeal. You can resubmit and we are doing that with a handful of clients that were unsuccessful. Uh, but we have to sort of read between the lines and guess as to why um, maybe the application did, didn't resonate as well as we would have liked. Anyone that's um, potentially interested in pursuing this avenue uh, can get in contact with Kasia. I usually attend meetings where we assess your case and we tell you uh, what the chances of success could be. Um, these are the cases that we don't guarantee because um, it's, it's up to the Polish government um, to approve you or otherwise. Um, the key to success would be that passion, that commitment, uh, that connection to Poland that we can help build with you. Um, again, if you're interested, talk to us um, and we will meet and discuss your case in more detail.